Oregon is unmatched in the diversity of its agricultural and environmental landscape. From rugged coastlines through lush valleys across high deserts, and the College of Agricultural Sciences at Oregon State University is out there, connecting scientific discoveries to communities and industries that rely on those insights. In addition to dozens of research labs and institutes on campus, the college has 11 agricultural experiment stations at 14 locations across the state. This statewide system of research stations has a rich history. It began in 1887 when President Grover Cleveland signed the Hatch Act, which provided annual funds for agricultural research stations at land-grant colleges in each state and territory. The first Oregon Agricultural Experiment Station was built in 1888, and since then the system has grown into 14 stations strategically located around the state to support industry and address environmental issues within each region. Together, a network of over 400 scientists in 28 academic disciplines strive to improve quality of life, environmental sustainability, and economic development in rural and urban communities across Oregon and beyond. These stations are the engine of science working every day to make tomorrow better. The College of Agricultural Sciences is the founding college of Oregon State University, headquartered at the main campus in Corvallis, Oregon. 60 miles north is our most agriculturally diverse experiment station. The North Willamette Research and Extension Center, known as NREC, is located on 160 acres in Aurora, Oregon, just 20 miles from downtown Portland and one mile south of the city's urban growth boundary. It is the only agricultural research center serving the Willamette Valley in the heart of Oregon's most productive farming region. NREC serves this hotspot of agriculture and natural resources through research and outreach that supports a range of industries. From Christmas trees and nursery plants to berries, tree fruits, and specialty seed crops. Nearly 40% of the entire $5.7 billion farm gate value of Oregon agriculture is produced within a 50 mile radius of the station. NREC's unique geographic location and proximity to Portland makes it a critical interface between urban and rural communities. NREC bridges the urban-rural divide by helping the public better understand where and how their food is grown. 20 miles north of NREC, in the heart of Portland, our next experiment station helps advance the Pacific Northwest food industry. The Food Innovation Center offers science-based services to companies and entrepreneurs with a focus on quality, safety, and sustainability. Our food scientists are nationally known for helping new food entrepreneurs develop and bring new food products to market. The Food Innovation Center offers a full range of services, including product development, shelf life testing, food safety testing, and consumer sensory testing. Research work at the center helps the industry to develop innovative processing, packaging, and traceability technology and address food safety challenges. The Food Innovation Center was the first urban agricultural experiment station in the country, and its researchers were behind the development of dulse, which is a red algae that grows off the northern coasts as a valuable food product. In fact, seafood is a major industry in Oregon, which brings us to experiment station number three. 60 miles west of Corvallis is the Coastal Oregon Marine Experiment Station, known as Combs. Researchers at Combs collaborate with the fishing and seafood industry and local maritime communities as the state's primary research engine supporting the use and conservation of marine resources. In fact, Combs was the first marine experiment station in the nation and came into existence following a lobbying effort by Oregon's fishermen for more applied research in fishing management. Combs is made up of two stations. Research on fisheries, aquaculture, and marine mammals is based at the main location in Newport. 130 miles to the north in Astoria, where the Pacific Ocean meets the Columbia River, is the Seafood Research and Education Center, which focuses on seafood science and surimi research. Oregon's commercial fisheries primarily harvest groundfish, dungeness crab, and salmon, and are estimated to support nearly $700 million in state economic value, accounting for nearly 7,000 jobs in Oregon. 150 miles further up the Columbia River from Astoria, you'll find our next experiment station, located in Hood River. The Mid-Columbia Agricultural Research and Extension Center conducts research and outreach supporting the tree fruit industry in the Mid-Columbia region with an aim toward long-term economic, environmental, and social sustainability. The center focuses primarily on varieties of two key crops, 
pears and sweet cherries and conducts research in horticulture, post-harvest physiology, and pest management. Oregon ranks second in the nation in pear production and third in the production of sweet cherries, with the mid-Columbia Valley supplying over 12,000 acres of cherry orchards. Another 120 miles up the Columbia River brings us to the fifth station on our list. The Hermiston Agricultural Research and Extension Center is the second oldest ag experiment station in Oregon and serves nearly 500,000 acres of irrigated agriculture in the Columbia Basin. Over 200 different crops are grown in the irrigated Columbia Basin and the Oregon potato industry alone is valued at over $200 million. The Columbia Basin is among the most unique growing regions in the world. Conditions are so productive in the Columbia Basin that our next station bears its name and is located just 30 miles east of Hermiston. The Columbia Basin Agricultural Research Center, with facilities in Pendleton and Morrow, specializes in research and extension work that supports the production of wheat and rotational crops such as barley, legumes, and canola. These field crops account for 2 million acres in northern Oregon. Wheat and barley in this region generate more than $300 million annually. This massive production scale requires the development of sustainable cropping systems, which relies heavily on understanding complex interactions among plants, soil, water, and pests. This understanding comes from long-term experiments, many of which take decades. The earliest ongoing experiment at the station began in 1931. 200 miles south of Hermiston is our next experiment station, and it is a big one. The Eastern Oregon Agricultural Research Center is the largest research site by a long shot, encompassing nearly 22,000 acres between its two stations in Burns and Union. The center is a cooperative research effort between Oregon State University and the USDA Agricultural Research Service. Cattle have been raised in Oregon since the early 1800s and in 2019 ranked as the state's third leading agricultural commodity with a value estimated at $625 million. The center's research program is unique in the integration of research about beef cattle, rangeland, wildlife, watershed, irrigated forage systems, and forest management. Another 100 miles east of Burns and nearly 400 miles east of Corvallis is our most remote station. The Malheur Experiment Station conducts crop trials every year in the high desert of Eastern Oregon, near the Idaho border. These trials have led to innovations and in sustainable techniques that have greatly improved agriculture in Malheur County, particularly in the major crops of onions and potatoes, helping to generate hundreds of millions of dollars per year and over one billion dollars of economic activity in the county. Our next station is located in the center of Oregon. The Central Oregon Agricultural Research and Extension Center is located in Madras, Oregon, north of Bend. High-value specialty crops provide the core of this agricultural community. Carrot seed is the dominant force in the Central Oregon vegetable seed industry, with three-quarters of the acreage and nearly 90% of the income. It is estimated that 70% of hybrid carrot seed worldwide comes from Jefferson County. Other vegetable seed crops include garlic, coriander, parsley, and onions. 200 miles south in southern Oregon, a new generation of small-scale farmers work shoulder to shoulder with established orchards and start-up wineries. The Southern Oregon Research and Extension Center, known as SORIC, provides research-based programs for this active and growing community as they constantly reinvent the agricultural possibilities of the fertile Rogue Valley. Our faculty and staff help thousands of Jackson County residents find answers and solve problems every year, in addition to instructing ongoing programs and a selection of season-appropriate classes. Oregon's wine and wine grape industry contributes more than $5.6 billion in economic activity each year, including more than 29,000 wine-related jobs and more than $1 billion in wages. 80 miles east of Sorek brings us to our 11th and final station. The Klamath Basin Research and Extension Center serves growers in the Klamath Basin with research and outreach with a focus on potatoes, small grains, and alternative crops. Klamath County ranks fifth in total agricultural farm gate value of the 36 counties in Oregon. Agriculture and natural resources are one of Oregon's largest industries, job creators, and economic drivers, and the core relationship between society and the environment. 
Creating sustainable systems requires science-based information and collaboration with industry and government to shape policies that keep both the economy and the environment healthy.